Cloud Drum 1.5 makes it incredibly simple and quick to build your own kits. One way to go is to start with a purchased kit, like this Deep House one. Then click on any pad and select All Pads in the randomizer. Then remove Deep House and add a different genre like Techno. And then hit Randomize to switch all of the samples to any Techno ones in your library. Maybe lose the swing. And then hit Save if you're happy with the results. Another option is to go for one of the starter kits found on a separate tab in the browser, like maybe the basic kit. So this has drums on the first eight pads in a standard layout of kicks, snares, claps, and hats. It's also loaded with a simple pattern playing those drums, so let's hit play to check it out. And then once again, click on any pad to open the sample randomizer, select all pads and hit randomize. Doing this switches out all of the drums to random ones of the same instrument type from your library. So it can come up with some really interesting combinations. If you're happy with all of the drums bar one or two, you can switch them out individually by clicking on them and hitting randomize. or switch out a group of pads by clicking on one and then using the plus switches to select additional pads, then randomizing once again. To choose samples for the pads above, I just select one, then go to the refined search options and click plus at the end of the instrument field to choose the kind of sample I'm looking for. I'll go for percussion, which will include any of the subtypes within that category. Then hit randomize once again. And then repeat for the other pads on that row. And for the top row, I'll add some synth bases. And I'll narrow down the search by adding some genres, like house and techno. Tags can be easily removed from the search using the crosses alongside. Check out the individual video on the sample randomizer for more info about tagging and searching. Samples can of course also be dragged onto pads to add them to a kit, if there's a particular sample that you want to import from Loop Cloud, for example. When doing this, Drum imports any existing tag data, or when there is none, analyzes the sample to work it out. Once I'm happy with the kit, I can save it to store it to my library. Then type in a suitable name. Expanding out the bottom shows some additional options where I can choose to save the sequence of patterns with the kit, as well as an audio loop of my drum break, and all of the samples from the kit collected into a single folder to keep things organized. Once saved, the kit will show up on the Saved Kits tab, and in Loop Cloud, in the Drum folder, and then Kits, you can see, along with the kit preset file, there's the drum loop audio and all the samples in the kit. This can be really useful if you want to use Loop Cloud Drum to build kits for your hardware drum sampler, as you can just drag them straight out from there. The empty kit starter preset can be useful if you want to get more inventive, like creating a kit with just vocal samples. To do that, I can just select a pad, add vocal, as the instrument tag, and then select all pads and hit randomize. And that could be a good one to save as a starter kit, which I can do when saving by checking the box under the save kit button.